This morning I was scheduled to do a national news segment on their digital platform about Mascaragate. When I got on the treadmill this morning, I was reading the producer's notes, and by the time I got off the treadmill, the segment was canned. That's okay, it happens all the time in the news industry. And I was a little surprised that we were still talking about Mascaragate when they asked me, when they texted me last night, but they also had another angle to the story which I do think is important, and that is truth in advertising. The Michaela Mascara story is about Michaela possibly amplifying a lash and not being fully authentic in the product, the efficacy of the L'Oreal telescopic lens. Yes, the idea of influencers, these micro social media influencers, like a few of these people who are wildly famous on this app, these blue checked verified social media influencers who are making a lot of money. When there is some type of falsehood and not truth in their advertising, people notice and people do not like that. The reason why Michaela and other social media influencers and sometimes just the big names that you see on this app are popular and endearing because they're so authentic. But when they're not authentic in their posts, people start to complain. Should we be scrutinizing influencers who, po who are possibly sacrificing their integrity for money? Yeah, but we should be scrutinizing someone else more. And that's the agencies and the brands who are paying these social media influencers a lot of money, but it kind of feels like blood money. The influencers do all the work, the influencers put their reputation on the line, and then they, they're possibly taken advantage of. A couple months ago, I was tagged on a lot of videos about influencers who were working with these agencies and firms who are keeping all the money, they are keeping all the profits. That was one trend. Now, as TikTok tends to do, follow the trends and creates the trends, we're looking at the bigger brands. So now people, instead of scrutinizing the social media influencers, they're looking at the big machines behind them like L'Oreal. Michaela's video, as of this moment, has 44 million views and counting. In context, last year's Super Bowl had 99 million views. Can you imagine that half the people who watch the Super Bowl, how much money and investment goes into a Super Bowl, and half the amount of those people have watched this mascara video? Poor Michaela is stuck still having this video on. She's probably dying to take it down, but likely contractually obligated to keep it up for a certain amount of time. Meanwhile, L'Oreal is marching off with probably one of the most successful mascara campaigns in history. That's what we need to start looking at, is are these big brands taking advantage of these social media influencers and encouraging them to not be authentic in their ads?